Long exposure photography isn't something that you usually apply in a portrait shoot, but in this lesson we're going to open up the camera for multiple seconds to achieve some unique background effects using simple household materials. Welcome back! Today we've got a really fun lesson planned that involves portrait photography. Laura is here with us today to do some modeling, and we've got two different shots in mind, so be sure to stick around for both of them, and we're looking forward to getting creative together, so let's jump into it. So before we dive in, let's just take a quick look at some of the tools that we need today for this shoot. I'm gonna be photographing mostly with an 85 millimeter lens, also using this attachment on the bottom of my camera. It's a grip which holds one additional battery, I'm not really gonna need the battery today necessarily, but it is a more comfortable and more ergonomic way to do a lot of vertical um, portrait photos. It's also not a bad idea to have some kind of a remote trigger for the camera, or if you don't have something like this, um, you could just put the camera into self-timer mode. Last but not least, the tripod is gonna be um, absolutely essential for the first shot that we're doing because we've got to open the camera for a long period of time and we would have no chance of making um, sharp pictures if we couldn't hold it steady. Now, I've got my lovely black cloth here and this is going to come in handy, I'm sure. That's gonna help um, reduce light on our background. We've also got a colorful montage here that we're gonna use as a background. It's suspended from this pole just so that we can get the materials spread out. But if you had two people helping you, you could easily hang on to the two different corners of your background fabric and kind of move it back and forth through your background. But we have a limited number of hands and arms and that's going to come in very handy. So that's our equipment. Okay, the other thing that I've got to mention, which is quite important for this shoot, is the lighting situation. And what we're gonna be using today are two different types of lights. One of them is a constant light, normally used for video purposes. We don't usually use this for photography. It emits a steady stream of light and that's gonna be a critical aspect of our shots today. You could easily improvise this with any kind of household lamp. It doesn't need to be uh, super high end and it doesn't need to have a softbox. In this first setup, the goal is to open the camera long enough to create some movement behind Laura. While Laura's holding still, I'm going to trigger the camera and our talented cameraman, Greg, is going to leave his normal position and perform double duty by moving our background material back and forth just behind Laura. So in our first couple of shots, we noticed that our background had some problems. And so we were actually seeing our light gray background appearing in our photo. And that light gray tone was washing out a lot of the color. So we eliminated that or fixed the problem by putting a big black uh, background material up. To get the sharpest possible image out of this uh, shot, I'm going to avoid touching my camera when I initiate my exposure. So I've got the camera set up in the self timer mode. It's gonna give me a two second delay. So I'm just pushing the trigger and counting down three, two, one, and away we go. And so far it's working pretty well. All right, so we've got some really interesting shots to go through and I'll just mention that the last couple pictures that I took, I did make a little adjustment to my shutter speed, not much, but I went from 3.2 seconds to two and a half seconds, just a little bit shorter on the exposure time. I would basically say if you can give yourself enough time to make the movement in the background, you don't really wanna go any longer than that. I hope you found that video useful, and if you did, we sure would appreciate a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss our next video tutorial. Thanks for watching.